Hello and welcome to the first real episode of my series where I will be showing you guys how to uh, use both the Uni Game Engine and uh, Vis Visual Studio. In this first episode, we are just going to be going over how how to install both of these pieces of software because, you know, without them, we can't really carry on with this series. So, for starters, we are going to download Visual Studio. Uh, we're going to be using um, the uh, community version, not not Visual Studio Code, which would be uh, this, mainly because the other one just has a bunch of inbuilt features for Unity. So what you want to do is you want to go to this link right here. It will pop up on the screen, and I will have it linked in the description. So if you just want to go here uh, right now, you can just go to this description and click it. So uh, what we want to do on this page is you want to locate the uh, the uh, c community one. This is the free one that, that anybody that has a Microsoft account can use. It is uh, free of charge, and there's no special features like um, uh like sharing between code and stuff. So it it's all we need. So what so what you want to do first is you want to click free download. And you will then be prompted to this screen, which is normal. It will say they thank you for downloading. And you will uh, if if you're on Chrome, you'll see in the bottom left, you'll you'll see visual visual studio setup dot exe. You want to click that and you want to say uh, yes to this prompt. And then uh, you'll get this. You'll get this vi Visual Studio installer. You just want to click it. Now I already have it downloaded and installed, so it's just going to instantly install it. You will then be prompted with this page, which uh, for us we are just going to want to scroll down into the gaming section, and you'll see Game Dev with Unity. You want to you want to make sure to click that, and then uh, the these are just pa uh, basically packages uh, that will. Um, integrate things so this will make uh, making unity code a lot a lot a lot easier so so you just want to click that and then you'll see in the bottom right uh, install and that should install uh, Visual Studio to uh, what you need and then when you open it up you'll have to log in just with your Microsoft account and all that stuff if you have any questions on this downloading process or or getting your your Visual Studio uh, to work, make sure to uh, comment down, and I will hopefully try and help help all of you guys that have problems. But that's it for Visual Studio. We are going to move on to Unity, the second piece of software that we are going to use in this series. So you want to go over to this page. I will also have this link down in the description and, and, and it will also pop up on screen. If you want to go here, just click that link in the description and it will take you right to this page. Now you will see that, that right here it will say download for Windows. You want to click that. You want to click that right there. And what that will do is it will download Unity Hub, which is this cool, which is this cool piece of software that is to manage all of your products, manage all of the types of uh, Unity versions you have installed, all that kind of stuff. It's really, really cool and really, really useful. You want to you want to go go through this setup. Click I agree. I'm not gonna uh, fall fall through this because actually, no, whatever. It's gonna detect that I probably have it installed already. Um, and I just want to make this tutorial a good tutorial for you guys. So it will say uh, run Unity Hub right here. We're going to just run that. And we'll see. You want to make sure to allow access like so. And here we are, U Unity Hub. Um, I already have this one installed on my computer. We'll just open up this previous version if it will. Okay, it seems like it doesn't want to, so I'm just going to, uh, you'll see that now we have this welcome to, to Unity Hub, and you see that you need to sign in. That is with your Unity ID, which is um, a um, account for Unity, so uh, if you don't have one, uh, you will uh, see this page right here, and you can just uh, create one by clicking right there. I will uh, have this link in the description. But you just need to uh, create a um, account with your email, password, username, and full name. Of course, the CAPTCHA and these three things that really no one reads, but they're there for legal reasons. But after that, you are basically set up. And then you just have to sign into uh, Unity Hub, which I can just do that right now on my other screen. All right, now that I have logged in, you'll see that right here, 
you're in the new Unity Hub, and you'll see that um, there are that there there's this projects panel, and you'll see that that there is this installs panel, this learn panel, and this community panel. What we want to do is we just want to go to install editor, and um, I currently have the 2020.1.17 F1 release, but you can simply go for um, this uh, 2021.3.6 F1. Uh, it probably won't be much different at all. It will probably work completely fine with um, with this project because it's not going back. It's just going forward. So probably the same features will be in, in that engine. So you can just install that. We, we will click install for that. And you'll see that uh, there are all these different packages. Now for now, um, we're not going to really do anything here because we don't need any specific packages. Um, because we're not going to be building stuff for a while, but uh, just know that this thing um, exists and that it is for installing packages. So other than that, uh, you'll you'll just click install, wait, and then you'll have your your editor installed. But that's pretty much it for this first episode. I hope this helped. I hope you were able to set up your software. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments. I will try to respond to every comment possible. If you have a problem, but other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.